So the developers of this game called Space Marine 2, this is supposed to be a competition for um, Helldivers 2. Well, basically, the game is guaranteed to not be woke. So basically, this is supposed to be the competition for Helldivers 2, of what I heard about. But basically, they he decried the state of video games, and two months are built around the messaging and opposing bulls on gamers. Finally, finally, some developer gets it. Okay, people are sick. You know, the video game industry is taking all the same mistakes that Hollywood is making. Which is why Hollywood has continued to struggle, especially with non-franchise movies, okay? Hollywood has struggled with non-franchise movies, it's no secret, okay? It's the thing that everybody wants to ignore, like, oh, but I'm the only one that's been saying that. Hollywood has been struggling to get people to not see movies, they're not about a franchise. I think it's the same thing that'd be happy to gaming, that's that are outside of, ga game, outside of indie gaming, obviously. You know, the AAA developers, when they try to do IP, it flops and fails completely. Concord, Dustboard, Skull and Bones are free examples of new IPs that completely, you know, failed. We, they, you know, they worked at Halo back in the day, a game could be just sold out of simply Super Mario Loop, but it was entirely addicting. It's something we wanted to recapture. I hope games like Space Marine 2 and Wukong or Star Wars version to a time where games are more fun and immersive. As well, yeah. It was quite about overboard attempts at Overposing wars and gamers, of course. Twitter and the mainstream media are upset about this, obviously, because of course they are. Because they want, you know, they want to push this agenda upon people. They want to push these ID agendas about, upon people here. But they wanted to make a game that was not woke. They want to make a game that anyone can play. Dustboard and Concord are evidence that games have gone too woke. That, but yeah, Concord. They really have a player update for that game, and only one person is playing Concord. Yes, no, not Concord, Dustborn. Concord is shut down, but only one person was playing Dustborn. A month after the game came out, no, only one person was playing Dustborn. That was pretty funny and sad at the same time, because this is a game that they, that they spent hundreds of millions of dollars on, and almost no one bought it. Almost no one played it. Okay. This game's gonna be huge, Space Marine 2. This game's gonna be a huge game, obviously. Because people want to go back to the way it was before the woke agenda. Maybe it should be an escape from the world, not a doubling down and tripling down on the wokeness that ruled the TV and movie industry. Okay, which is what any developers refuse to do put wokeness in their games. And the developers of Space Marine 2 refuse to put wokeness in video games. And that's about this video here. Goodbye.